an Ironman triathlon, ultimate single day endurance test, a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike, and a 26.2 mile full marathon run completed by some of the best athletes on the planet. This is my journey to balance work and family life to become an Ironman in 2023. So back to another week of training, starting off on Monday, went out for a long ride, started off by putting a bottle cage on my bike. This was like the last thing my GoPro could take that apparently, because then it was like the SD card was playing up, so I had to reformat it. Just about to head out on the bike. It is Monday, the training week starts now. Pretty full week of my training. Um, I've got it all planned out on Training Peaks, so we're gonna see how much we can stick to that. Out for about two hours and 15 minutes, I think is what I put on the plan. Might have to quickly check that before I go, but wanna just gradually increase from what I've done the last couple of weeks. It is really nice outside, but it is the afternoon, so I have a bit of extra fuel. Did have most of a can of Red Bull, I put the rest in my bottle on the back, so that should get me through. Went out for the ride, it was a pretty good ride, Red Bull definitely helped. I had a rest day on Tuesday, soon these Tuesdays will be replaced with a different kind of running, which I'll kind of show you a little bit later in the video. But then on the Wednesday we did do a gym session, a pretty long gym session, did like 90 minutes because my sister wanted to join as well. So uh, between the two of us, I basically did two of my workouts into one. So we did some deadlifts, some squats, and then she got me to try and do this uh, hip thrust thing, which, uh, yeah, definitely not for me. I just could not get comfortable doing that at the gym. Now you'll be fine. Uh, like, my back was just, yeah, really arched and weird. Still a decent workout, and of course, afterwards, had to get a little cost to stop in there. And then in the evening, managed to get a nice interval run in. Pretty decent to be fair. I only did like five more minutes than last time. Um, I made it way further with like one faster set and a little bit more recovery time. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. Thursday, again, or more, more intervals, this time on Zwift. On the bike again. This a little interval session. Feeling pretty tired after work, but got some electrolytes to get me through. Uh, see if we can make it through this workout. Only an hour with uh, five minute intervals at below FTP, so it shouldn't be too tough. But yeah, not feeling it today, but we're gonna give it in anyway. Made it through the work, and our reward is mash, peas and sausages, and a protein shake. Hopefully soon we'll do the intervals outside rather than inside, and then we'll be down to probably one swift session a week, which might just be like a race or something like that. Friday was a rest day. I had planned to go swimming in the morning, but didn't really uh, manage to fit that in, didn't get that to work. But in the evening, we got a new toy. We got a running pram. So I spent most of the evening trying to like get that set up and have a little go of it. Um, because yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing going forward on like Tuesdays and days where I don't normally get any exercise in because it's me and Arlo at home for most of the day. Hopefully we can start to get a few more runs in, uh, even if it's just, you know, a couple miles, and uh, we can start to squeeze them in. And I kind of took it out for a test run on the Saturday morning. Ready for the first run with the new pram, little man? Yeah. I'll take charge of the GoPro, I think. Initially, I'd planned to go do a park run. I'm glad I didn't because this is so tough running with a pram. It, it looks so easy when I've seen people do a park runs and stuff before, but it is really tough. It's like a proper workout on the calves. As soon as you go up any sort of incline, you really feel it. It is like doing like a sled push. Um, really tough. Who's at the door? Just finished our first pram run. That was tough. I think I'll have enjoyed it though. Do you like that? Now I managed to squeeze in a little bit of a bike ride as well on Zwift. All right, we are back on the bike. Just doing the last stage of Tour of Watopia. A 40 mile version, so they're gonna pretty much do it as a race almost. I feel all right after the run. I'm gonna get a nice one minute and 30 second warm up as standard. So we'll go do this now. Should have redone this last time, but we're getting in anyway. Made it through the Zwift ride. As you can tell, my voice is a little croaky again. Pray up with that, about 45 minutes with a little cool down at the end in there. And I always aim when I'm in these like open bracket sort of race event things to kind of try to finish, finish in the middle. I'm pretty sure I was pretty much bang on, there was like 320 people and I was like 155th. So, pretty happy with that because they're doing this probably like A riders in with that group. Nice and sweaty now. I'm pretty sure I went to work after this and then went to the gym, which was definitely a mistake. The chest push workout was, yeah, not great following that. So uh, I think I managed to do chest press, some dumbbell incline, and then I was knackered after that. But then on uh, Sunday, we finished the week off strong with a nice long run. All right, we have got a new heart rate monitor. About to do my long run. So hopefully this is all going to work out. Let's try to see if I can get this working. Finally got the heart rate monitor working. 
And now I'm going to try some tailwind as well. In my backpack. See how that goes on the rug. I am all suited and booted. Well, just put my shoes on now. Got my backpack on. I've actually got a little snack because I spent so long trying to get my uh, heart rate monitor connected. Um, it's been like two and a half hours since I ate, and I originally wanted to go out like an hour afterwards. Got the tailwind in the back. I only did two scoops with like 500 milliliters. It's got a very like faint orange flavour. So I might prefer a little bit more scoop-wise in there, but uh, so we'll get into the run and see how it goes. Run's going nice so far. Heart rate monitor seems okay now. The first couple of kilometers, it was just going crazy, telling my heart rate was like 190 and then just losing it altogether. But yeah, it seems okay now. Doing okay. That's the long run for the week finished. Nine miles. An hour and 30 minutes, 10 minute miles, which is about right for my zone 2 run. A bit faster than that, sorry, but I did stop like four times for a pee or to kind of fix this straw, which does not work well. So I might ditch the backpack next time. All right, one of those seems to work okay, though, so that's good. And that was it, that was my full week of training. So it worked out to be like six hours and 45 minutes, plus strength and conditioning, which was like two hours and 15. I don't count that in my training now. So what I'm doing going forward is counting my training as just cardio, basically. So swim, bike, we're increasing that time up, hopefully from like 6.45, probably the most we'll do is like 15, 16 hours. I wanna try in the next few weeks and kind of get up to like 12 hours, and then we'll drop back down to eight, and then build it up to like 14, and then go back down to 10, and then build it up to the 16, uh, which will be like eight weeks before the triathlon. And then we'll probably have a few weeks close to that amount uh, with a rest week and then again a couple of weeks again with quite high volume before we sort of taper to the event so that's the plan a long way to go if you're enjoying this yeah please follow along subscribe give a like to the video that'd be great you're gonna have some uh, hopefully some really good videos coming out in the next couple of weeks next week we're gonna do a full like 24 hours of training and eating and then we're gonna be going away the week after that where i'll hopefully get a really really big week of training in that's it thank you for watching see you later